Hello everyone and welcome to MDLR Fishing. My name is Mark and today I'm going to be cooking up some lemon pepper redfish. This is actually the second portion of filming for the day. Earlier on I went out into the marsh and actually caught some <laughs> fresh redfish and I brought pepper. one of them back home to be able to cook this simple recipe up for y'all. So for those of you just tuning in and not really following the channel, uh, do me a favor. At the end of the video, I'm going to leave one of the end cards. It's the little rectangle with the video that shows me going out and actually catching this guy. So I don't do any of the going into the grocery stores to purchase my own seafood. It's all caught fresh. So that's something that might be interesting to some of y'all who are fish lovers. And if you enjoy this cook recipe, be sure to check out the remainder of them. The playlist is also going to be listed back there as well. So here we go, let's get started. We'll start things off by portioning these down and then also removing some of the bloodline that is still left on the fish. Now, no matter what I do, I've taken a lot of y'all's advice as well in trying to remove this bloodline um, by bleeding the fish out. Uh, for those of y'all that don't think that I bleed them, just know that I honestly do it just doesn't work. So I've tried it all. I've tried bleeding them and leaving them inside the salt water and dragging them along just so that they could thoroughly uh, bleed out, like continue to breathe, um, but it doesn't work. So this is what I'm left with right here. So y'all can see that. That right there is just, it's been a nuisance for me. So, I mean, you know, I, I do try my best. Before I start, sprinkling the seasoning, the lemon pepper over our fish fillets. I've got to get some water boiling because I'm going to plate the fish over a bed of angel hair pasta with pesto. And if I put the lemon uh, on our redfish fillets, it's going to start to cure it. So it starts to kind of cook it. We don't want to start that process just quite yet because it's going to take a little while for our water to come up to a boil and get that pasta going. Now we can take and put some lemon pepper I'm just using simple Mrs. Dash. You can put a little bit, you can put a lot. It just depends on your taste buds. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of butter to our cast iron skillet. Melt that down and then we'll immediately start cooking. Uh oh, timer's done. So our, turn our pasta off. That's good to go. Add our redfish. I'm going to cook these for approximately a minute and a half, two minutes. We'll kind of eyeball it, see how it looks, and then flip it. All right, that's been going for a minute now, and it looks like it's ready to be flipped. Okay. Got right here some capers. couple of those inside there to kind of flavor it up. Since this is done cooking, we're going to remove our fish, stop that cooking process. There we are. Doesn't that look good? Make sure we get that in focus. And that looks delicious. All right, so we'll take about a tablespoon or so of olive oil right there. And you can smell the redfish, the crusty, crispy bits with the lemon and the, oh man, it smells so good. Let's get that stirred around inside there. We're gonna add our parsley basil, and our garlic. Kind of get that going. We don't want to char it or burn it or anything like that. I think that's good enough right there. About a tablespoon of pesto. Kind of mix that around. 
You know you left the pan a little bit too hot whenever your pasta starts sticking to it. That's nice and done. It's time to plate. And there it is. Voila. Look at that. It smells really good, so I'm hoping that it's going to taste as good as it smells. So here we go, the moment of truth. Take some of the redfish, just try it by itself first off. It's a lacking flavor. Definitely has the citrus taste from the lemon, but by no means does it come anywhere close to like blackened seasoning. Even though we did cook it in the butter, the meat has next to no flavor whatsoever. Maybe I could have thrown a lot more lemon pepper seasoning on it. It's not bad. It's definitely palatable and maybe a diehard fish loving like eating person would would like it, but I'm not really going to go crazy about this. The thicker piece is a lot more tender. It's a bit moister than the smaller piece. I mean, that's to be expected because it's just thicker. It's good. It's not the best. Now, let's try it with the angel hair and all the other wholesome goodness ingredients that we threw in there with it. <laughs> That's where it's at. That's where the flavor hits it because you got everything else lending a hand to basically take your taste buds off of just a plain fish. Fish and butter, some of y'all may like that. I know I like uh, Spanish mackerel and butter. That's really good. Redfish, not so much. I think I prefer the, um, the black end or maybe on the half shell. It's still good. On a number scale from one to 10, this is probably gonna get like maybe four and a quarter. <laughs> but the angel hair pasta, let's get a caper. That is really good. I need to try this with like maybe whenever I do the blackened redfish or uh, a blackened um, flounder, uh, speckled trout, something like that. Try to figure out a way to make this angel hair or a linguine, something like that with a Cajun seasoning of some sort. If any of y'all know anything off the top of your head, drop a comment down below, let me know. Because I love eating it over pasta versus rice. Uh, that seems to be the like standard. You serve a piece of fish with some rice. Eh, I don't really care too much for that, although I will do it, but I love it with the pasta. Yeah, really good with the pasta. With the pasta, okay, so I gave it four and a quarter with just a red fish alone, but with the pasta, we're gonna bump it up to about a six. All right, that's gonna do it. I wanna thank each and every one of y'all for tagging along on today's cooking adventure. It was pretty fun, fairly simple. It only took about 30 minutes to probably whip all this up together. The prep time was what took the most. And after that, it's just a nice, good, fresh fish meal and uh, certainly doable. If you're adventurous and you have a palate that can take just like a plain fish, then definitely give this a try. You let me know what you think about it. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, click the subscribe button and uh, yeah, ring that notification bell icon. Until next time, tight lines y'all.